Hi, today we're going to talk about the contraindications with taking apple cider vinegar. That is three situations where you will not take apple cider vinegar or it's not good for you or any type of acidifier. I have done a video where I talk about the 10 reasons why you should take apple cider vinegar every day. You can check it out after watching this video. Apple cider vinegar is great and does a lot for our health and body. But there are a few situations I wouldn't recommend you take apple cider vinegar and that's what I want to tell you in this video. The major component of apple cider vinegar is acetic acid and the normal acidity of your stomach is around 1.3 and this acidity level helps greatly with digestion and absorption and apple cider vinegar or any type of acidifier helps improve or increase the stomach pH for a better digestion and absorption but there are a few situations where apple cider vinegar will not be good for you and the first situation is when you have gastritis that is the inflammation of the lining of the stomach characterized by nausea loss of appetite, upper abdominal pain, and you may experience a regurgitation of the acid into the esophagus. And so adding an acidifier to this inflamed tissue could make things worse. The second situation is when you have peptic ulcer. An ulcer is simply an open wound. So taking apple cider vinegar could make the symptoms worse because you are dumping more acid to the open wound. And lastly, when someone has the condition we call dollinger ellison syndrome, that is a tumor causing a greatly increase of gastric acid production, which can also cause peptic ulcer or GLD. So these are the three situations where apple cider vinegar will not be good for you and I wouldn't recommend taking apple cider vinegar or any type of acidifier. And here is a bonus point. A good remedy for someone who suffers from gastritis will be DGL licorice or marshmallow root. You can also go for probiotic if you don't have a SIBO. Then also for ulcer, a really good medication will be zinc canosinate 4, that is 50 mg TID or any type of the natural medicine out there or any antibody that can fight against the peptic ulcer. Then also wheat grass juice is loaded with chlorophyll and can also help treat your peptic ulcer. But I got the vegetable that can treat your peptic ulcer and I put the link right here, you can click on it. If you got value out of this video, kindly give us a like, comment and share this with all your loved ones, especially those who have these three conditions. That I've spoken to you about. Hey, always remember that God wants to help you, your health, your life.